you're seeing here is not an em emulator. This is actual video from my TV set. This is not S video, nor is it AVI. I simply, I simply converted uh, RGB SCART or RGB from a SCART cable to component RGB, and I get a 480i signal. There's my Sega Genesis. And uh, here it is running off a Neo Myth uh, cartridge, which you can load uh, quite a few games on it and without having to use real cartridges all the time, which, you know, I do have my own cartridges, but it could be quite a pain in the ass, you know, just switching carts and shit all the time. So, plus, I don't really live in Albuquerque, which is where I'm at right now, and I pretty much live out of a bedroom, so. Uh, the best thing for me to do is just be able to load all the games into one. And you can see it is working. And I'm going to zoom in on it and show you the clarity of what I'm getting. Oh, Sega Saturn controller. It's my fault. I'm just gonna pick a bunch of weapons, I don't give a shit. Whatever. This is meant just to show you what I'm doing. I mean, as far as the video quality. Try doing this on S Video. And those of you that think S Video is better, you don't fucking know. A while back when I made my first video on this setup, I argued with this guy in Atari Age called Spaz Monkey. He told me his S video mode was better than mine. So he sent me a video as if to say, look at the clarity of my video, bitch. And I was like, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, and I was like, check out my Donald Punk, bitch. Oh, God, why do I keep pressing the wrong shit? We're going to go to super easy. Fuck. Yeah, homing laser is the best weapon in this game. All the other weapons don't work as well, because a lot of times when you shoot an enemy, you have to hit him in the right fucking spot. This one, you don't even have to think. You just blast shit. Now, some of you guys may be really good at this game, but I'm not very good. I'm just going to do this bullshit that I always do. I just sit there and use my force field to blow him away. You know, it's... I lose a lot of fucking energy every time I do it, but he's like a gay boss and I can't stand it when I don't have the teleporting power to destroy him real quick. Eat that asshole. Bitch! Yeah, you know, like this dickhead, he's just like a dumbass eyeball that just stands there and just gets blasted. He's pretty gay. Get the damn... Get the fucking... Damn time, shit. That's a big walking samurai turtle. Fuck you. I should have went at him with that fucking teleport. I don't know why I didn't do it. God damn. This game has is basically nothing but boss battles. So if you like bosses, this is the game for you. It's also one of the best games on the Genesis. Of course, if you don't have a Neo uh, Myth Cart, you're not going to be able to play this unless you have some other type of flash drive or something. And then you won't be trying to fight this big dick with balls, big ass penis creature or whatever it is. So I paused it and we're going to zoom in on the clarity of this on my TV set. Look at that. No color bleed. No nothing. I mean, you can see just about every bit of detail in this game. Let's zoom in on the bird guy or whatever he is. See that? 
You see that? Look how clear that is. Off my TV. To my Sega Genesis. And let's go over how I did this. First you gotta get a SCART cable and make sure you gotta make sure that if you have a Model 1 that you get the right lead because the port is different than the Model 2 so make sure you get the right one um... let's see that's not that's bullshit and there's my splitter this is how I get my uh... Get all this shit out the way I'm sorry it's dark I mean I'm not gonna that's the CSY 2100. Oh, God, I can't see it. I don't want to take this shit apart again. I already showed this in the video before. But it goes into that. Here's a scarred in. Goes into this. And comes out as these three. Red, green, and blue. And then... goes in here. Now this badass component RGB cable that I got was from Circuit City when it closed down and they were giving these out for like 10 bucks. And this is like the baddest fucking cable ever as far as component. But anyways you can see, oh and that of course is my Neo Myth. And you can load games. Little flash carts. This is 1024 megabit comes with a 512 um, you just load it in turn it on and uh, you can select games you want to play and yeah I do own quite a few Sega Genesis games um, not every one of them and of course since I don't like live in Albuquerque. I work out here. I'm not gonna bring my entire Genesis collection with me. So yeah, I'm gonna load them onto this and play it. I mean, it's not like I'm a pirate or anything. Yar. Uh, just to let you know, I do have a Super Nintendo one. This is a SCART cable for a Super Nintendo. However, my Super Nintendo doesn't have RGB coming out. It just only has AV, which is, I don't know why I would need that. But I guess if I get the right Super Nintendo. I'd be able to use this. I can't vouch for this thing to work for anything else but a CSY2100. That's what I use. There may be other devices that might work, but uh, that's the one that I use. Um, <clears throat> it works with the Sega Genesis 1, Model 2, and CDX that I know of so far. I'm going to try a 32X and see if that one works soon. Um, uh, the Sega Genesis 3, it doesn't work because it doesn't produce RGB. Uh, Sega Master System produces RGB. NES and so NES doesn't produce RGB, and Super NES, some of them produce RGB. Well, anyway, thanks for watching my video. Thank you very much. Bye.